Hi, Dennis Ray here. Microsoft provides a PC cleaning tool of its own. PC Manager is the name of it. Here's how to use PC Manager and where to get it. These are some sources you can use to get PC Manager and I'll put links for all these in the description below. Uh, the first one is PC Manager's website at Microsoft.com. It has this link to download the application. Below, it has a little information you can take a look at. The other source you can use is Microsoft.com. And in this, there's a link to download the app. And there's a little information and some screenshots there for you. Another source is MajorGeeks.com. And this has quite a bit of information, much more informative than the other sources. And there are the links you can use to download the app. Or you can go into the Microsoft Store, type in PC Manager, and you'll get this page. And this is the link that you would use to install it onto your computer. It would say install. I already have it installed, which is why it says open. But this makes it very easy to install onto your PC. We look for the best freeware so you don't have to. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Dennis Ray channel. Okay, thank you. This is the interface for PC Manager. In the Home tab, we have a PC Boost, a free up your PC's resources. So this will free up some memory usage and get rid of some temporary files. So Let's give it a try. You hit this bar to start it, and it doesn't take long. And see it freed up a little bit of the memory and got rid of temporary files. That's all cool. Then it has these settings that you can use uh, to start the boost automatically at a certain point. A shortcut setting general settings to have it start automatically when you open up windows and about also on the home tab there are these areas that you can take a look at health check shows how many files are in these areas processes which you can see what's running right now and end those if you want to. Deep cleaning, where you can select what you want to have cleaned out and then hit that to go ahead and clean those. They do a much better job than the boost does. And start up, showing what will start up when you start up your computer. In the protection tab, there is virus and threat protection. You can scan your computer with Defender, Windows Update, default browser settings, taskbar repair, restore default apps, and pop-up management. The storage tab shows you how much room is being used on your drive. Deep cleaning, you can hit this and uh, well, deep clean just like we saw before. Downloaded files that are in your download folder. Large files showing you the size of files that you have on your computer. And uh, the scanning doesn't take long and that's good for your information. Duplicate files. Scanning doesn't take long in this either. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I got quite a few there. Hmm, more than I thought. Then on the side, if you hit these, it will just take you back to some of the same items that we saw before with a little different view. There. Downloaded files, 
scanning for large files and back to duplicate files. The apps tab has this process management, which we saw before. And then you can use this to stop any processes that are running right now. Startup apps, which we saw before, and you can use this to turn those off and on. Uninstall apps. You can use this to uninstall any programs or applications on your computer. And uh, actually, there are better programs that will do this for you. And I'll put links for those in the description below. And then there's a link that will take you to the Microsoft Store. Toolbox has these links to these various programs. And you can add links too if you'd like. And there's also a link to the msn.com site. Restore. Now well, this doesn't have a whole lot to it. You're all set. Your PC is using recommended settings to be secure, fast, and efficient. Cool. Settings, which we saw before in the boost settings. Exact same thing. And feedback. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.